we're going too far for the future plan so let's reel it back in let's focus let's focus on 2020 2024 so what are your plans for next year well, what's your goal what would you like to achieve survive that's good i like that start a family you're married <laughs> Save money, that's good. Rob a bank, okay. I, I don't know if I can encourage that. Oh, be a crony until last breath. Wait, that's your next year goal? Hey man, hey man, don't die. <laughs> I wanna be free. Okay, Aaron, I just wanna be happy. That's, that's a work in progress. That's always a work in progress, honestly. I wanna make you laugh, but you guys make me laugh plenty. Well, for me, what I want... Yeah, I'm laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, not with you. Well, it's really nice that uh, some of you have goals to work towards. I think uh, I've, s I've said this before, but personally, don't <laughs> don't agree with me. Just like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Just, you know don't take it's not even advice it's just how i think but i personally think that new year's resolutions are kind of um not healthy i've i've brushed upon this concept before but it's putting a lot of pressure on yourself and when you try so hard progress is erratic it's not going to be consistent there are going to be some moments where you know where you have some dead zones and really productive spurts and whatnot and when you're like in your phase where you're not feeling so motivated saying that your new year's resolution fell through is just kind of how should i say letting yourself down and disappointing and i said this before too but there are a lot of cases where people sign up for gym membership because their goal was to get more fit and by the end of January they like half of them quit so just because you have a few months where you feel like you're not making any progress it doesn't mean that your goal is over and can't be achieved I just don't think it should be a goal for you know the new year like it's a must thing i think it's just something to uh, have a plan to look forward to kind of as a guideline i see goals to be goals and plans to be more of a guideline as to how you want the year to be because otherwise you're gonna go down this path where it feels like you're not really making much progress in your life and not really sure why you're here existing <laughs> so yeah you gotta have some sort of guidelines for yourself i feel like and the last thing i would want for you guys and for myself is just feel like you're nothing <laughs> Cause like I've been there, there have been few years, like three to five years. Yeah, between three to five years where I felt like I wasn't really making much progress in my life. But yeah, so at the end of the day, I think it's a good thing that you have something to look forward to. And I'm glad that some of you have set these plans. And if you haven't, you should set them now. You're at that point right now. Well, what do you want to do? Let's think about it. What are the guidelines you want to set for yourself? And if you can't accomplish it by, you know, by the end of next year, there's always the year afterwards. And you can change your plans and goals uh, depending on you know depending on your priorities maybe they have changed don't really have any ideas that's that's also understandable to be honest but the fact that you want to do something for yourself but not having any ideas means that you want to improve right so i see some of you saying uh, i'm gonna try to make some games this year that's cool you can start off by learning you know rpg maker that's cool or unity also cool or just survive the main goal is to survive that's why we have guidelines okay maybe not you know you know what to each their own what whichever software you want to learn yeah whichever whichever software you want to learn maybe you want to learn mixing 
Maybe you want to learn how to voice set. Maybe you want to learn how to sing. Or maybe it doesn't even have to be in the creative areas. Maybe, maybe it can be something more in the professional field. Maybe, maybe you want to do something more, I don't know, like IT related, computer related. Get into school. Learn something. Video editing. Hey, that's cool. Do not be a burden to anyone. Honestly, as long as you're doing what you want for yourself, you won't be bothering anyone because you'll be too busy working on what you want for yourself. So don't worry, you'll never get in anyone's way. And you know, all this, what I'm saying is as some of you might think these are very obvious things, right? But I've come to realize that over the years, even though someone's saying something obvious, it's good to hear it from someone else other than from yourself. I think it's, how should I say, it, it's hard to explain. Yeah, like affirmation, yeah. So I have to make a disclaimer, yes, I'm not your therapist. But you know what this stream is. It's about setting goals for yourself. And if you don't have goals, now is the time. But you're my OG. <laughs> yeah. But I paid for this session. What? You were scammed. Mm. But for me, since like as of now, since I'm since I'm in this field, I wanna do better with you know singing or like any other like uh creative fields like i want to learn more but eventually uh, like my goals are going to change over the years like that's not going to be a forever thing right so later on i'd want to do something uh, like mm, like maybe go back to a time academy for example and uh, yeah because I'm so close. I'm so close. So I just want to like get with time with, you know, Time Academy and whatnot. Do things. Actually, I want to. I was thinking about going back to Time Academy next year, but oh man, my management skills are so concerning. So I'm a little worried about that. Get that alphabet suit after the name yeah so i guess that's what i mean by being curious about the years to come and i'm grateful that you guys are helping me with setting these kinds of goals because you know otherwise i don't think i would have had goals or things to look forward to you know i'm looking forward to the next fest and seeing you guys there again you're the one who achieved it but without you guys it wouldn't have been possible you know and because of that i want all of us to achieve things together that way you know since since I'm always saying, oh, I'm, I'm really grateful and whatnot. It'd be nice if you guys can also say, hey, thanks, crony. <laughs> we can, we can both, you know, do our best, you know, lift each other up kind of thing. Build a really good report with each other. Yeah. You raise me. <laughs> Are you calling us ungrateful? Nah, more like, I feel like there should be a give and take in the, in the, how should I say? In the dynamic you know you're my wonder whoa <laughs> symbiotic parasocial relationship god that's so funny yeah but i don't know i just i just wish people would do good that's that's all i want like obviously when i'm not <laughs> oh when i'm not in a good mood i'm like thinking oh Everyone should die, including me, 2012, was a missed opportunity. Why did that meteor not hit? Ah! But, but most of the time, most of the time, I hope that people are happy. Like, if I'm just sad and not angry, if I'm angry, I'm not myself. I'm not myself when I'm angry, but when I'm sad or when I'm just whatever, I want people to be happy. I I want people around me to be happy. It's okay, I don't take you seriously when you're mad. I'm usually not mad. I don't think there have been like, no, no, there's never been a time where I was actually mad about something. We have, we have only seen you air quotes mad, yeah, like, I'm sure you guys, you guys will know, but I, um, 
I am... I'm, I'm pretty nice. I have a lot of filters. Well, maybe not a lot of filters, but I have quite a few number of filters. And if I, if I was angry, I would mess someone up. I would... It's over. <laughs> I will leave you crying for your mother and father. But you guys would never do that. Well, you guys could do that, actually, you know, some some people, but... Anyway, that's whatever. Point is, I don't get angry on stream, so that's okay. <laughs> uh, 